We're proud of you. And congratulations to the families of the graduates. We wish you could be here in person, but we know that you're beaming with pride wherever you're watching. Thank you for all you have done to get these wonderful young people to this point. The Marty Tartar Choral Award was awarded to Yuka Iwata, Erin May Kindervarder, and Jin Ru Lee. The Fritz Chrysler String Award was awarded to Nana Kano and Jin Ru Lee. In a school brimming with hard-working, musically talented students, these students have stood out. Well done. The athletic department also presents significant awards. The following students received senior medallion awards for lettering for four years in the same sport or for lettering in three sports their senior year. As I call your name, please stand. Please hold your applause until they are all standing together. Miyuki Yamakawa Basu. Dominic Lazaro Klimikosa. Joseph Fraser. Masaki Honda. Hyunso Kwan. Rachel Nelson. Rico Ohashi. Kyle Filson. Eugene Reedy. Rena Semenoff. Hayato Taguchi. And Ty Van Dam. Congratulations. You may be seated. The Athlete of the Year Award can, can go to a student from any grade. This year's Male Athlete of the Year goes to Enosh Mutenda in grade 11. This year's Female Athlete of the Year goes to Mitsuki Hishinuma. Please stand. Congratulations. You may be seated. We also recognize a number of seniors who have been inducted into the National Honor Society over the course of their high school career. If you are a member of National Honor Society, please stand as I call your name. We congratulate you for your scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Yuka Iwata. Wonjun Kim. Yeonju Kim. Jin Woo Lee. 
Susanna Mendoza, Rachel Nelson, Rico Ohashi, and Mayumi Okuda. Congratulations. You may be seated. I would also like to recognize a special group of seniors who have faithfully served their class in so many sacrificial ways this year. Would the members of the Senior Council please stand as I call your name. We thank you for the hours of organizing, planning, selling concessions, and your leadership for the class of 2020. I enjoyed working with you. Miyuki Yamakawa Basu, Matthew Buss, Dominic Lazaro Klimakosa, Joseph Fraser, Grace Emiko Ijima, Yuka Iwata, Nana Kano, Eun Min Kim, Ha Jin Lee, Susanna Mendoza, Emi Miyazaki, Eugene Reedy, and Rina Semenov. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Career Knights Roll of Honor. Tonight we are recognizing the outstanding academic achievements of seniors who have been on the honor roll for their entire school career at CAJ. When I read your name, please stand. Please hold your applause until all recipients are standing. Recognition for outstanding academic achievement is presented to the following students. Yuka Iwata. Nana Kano, Yuki Kano, Eun Min Kim, Yeonju Kim, Aaron May Kindervater, Jinwoo Lee, Ha Jin Lee, Riko Ohashi, and Rina Semenov. Congratulations. You may be seated. In your program, is information about other significant awards that will be given out, and there is even more information on our website, including how these award recipients are selected. We announce the recipients of these awards to the seniors at the beginning of this week. I invite you to follow along in your program to learn more about the awards. Our Parent Teacher Association, or PTA, generously sponsors a number of awards selected by individual academic departments. Seniors, as I read your name, please stand. Please hold your applause until all of the seniors are standing. For his passion for making and sharing his art, the Art Department Award goes to Jun Nelson. For her ability to use and apply the lessons of the Bible well, the Bible Department Award goes to Erin May Kindervater. For her ability to write and present well, and not only share their ideas, but also encourage others to share theirs, the English Department Award goes to Grace Emiko Ijima. For her gifting in passion for mathematics, the Math Department Award goes to Riko Ohashi. For her dedication, collaboration, work ethic and gifting, the music department award goes to Nana Kano. For giving every PE class and activity his best effort, the physical education department award goes to Ty Van Dam. For his inquisitive and applied approach to understanding all things scientific, the science department award is presented to Matthew Buss. For fully representing the concept of servant leadership, the service award goes to Yuka Iwata. For her interest in the social sciences and her willingness to challenge herself to excel, the social studies department award goes to Susanna Mendoza. For his excellence in the use of technology in serving our community, the technology award goes to Shion Suzuki. 
For her creativity, hard work, and collaborative attitude, the Vocational Arts Award in Home Economic goes to Yui Matsumaru. For her interest in Japanese and her willingness to challenge herself in the language, the World Language Department Award goes to Eunmin Kim. Congratulations. You may be seated. Thank you to the Christian Academy in Japan Parent Teacher Association for their generous and faithful support of our mission through these awards. As we continue with our significant awards, seniors, as I read your name, please stand. After each award, we will applaud, and then you may be seated. The Ron and Carolyn Hardy Discipleship Award is presented to David Augustus Fixton. The Howard Blair Award for Literary Arts is presented to Emmy Miyazaki. The Les Johnston Biblical Perspective Award is presented to Riko Ohashi. The Habistad Award for Fine Arts is presented to Jin Ru Lee. The Fitzgerald Career Athletic Awards goes to a male and a female senior athlete for the positive impact that they have had on CAJ's athletic program over their entire high school career. This year, the Fitzgerald Female Career Athlete Athletic Award goes to Rachel Nelson and Rena Semenoff. And the Fitzgerald Male Career Athletic Award goes to Eugene Reedy. The Martin Essenberg Academic Awards are presented to the Valedictorian and the Salutatorian. This year, the two scholars with the highest overall averages are Salutatorian Riko Ohashi and Valedictorian Jin Wu Lee. Congratulations. You may be seated. The Kidron Valley Award is the only award restricted to missionary kids or MKs and is given to the MK with the highest GPA after the Essenberg Awards are determined. This year's recipient of the Kidron Valley Award is Rena Semenoff. The following awards are selected by the seniors. When I read your name, please stand. Please hold your applause until all recipients are standing. The Alvi Leadership Award goes to Jin Wu Lee. The Samuel Public Speaking Award goes to Jin Wu Lee. The Judy Amos Distinguished Service Award goes to Shun Collier. CAJ Honor Award, considered the most prestigious of our awards, calls for one member of the senior class who is respected as a leader and is an outstanding role model of what CAJ desires its students to become spiritually, academically, and socially. The 2020 recipient of the CAJ Honor Award is Dominic Lazaro Clemicosa. Congratulations. Please be seated. The senior speaking tonight was chosen by his classmate from all members of senior class. 
Dominique has attended CAJ since fifth grade in 2012. He considered himself as someone who loves to play drums. He started playing drums since seventh grade after being influenced by CAJ upperclassmen. And since then, he has been playing in CAJ jazz band. However, one of his best memory was playing trumpet with the jazz band. Through his involvement in many music events, he has come to deeper understanding of servant leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dominic Klimakosa. I dreamt a dream. The year was 2030, and I remember about a time where I was in good contact with the 40 people I am so fond of. I used to spend many hours of the week with those people, even some of them the whole day. With all the new technology, communication became easy. For good reasons, these people I knew, we kept in good communication, and we finally got together, and oh boy, I heard so many wonderful stories. I heard some who just started their careers, some in corporate lives, and some becoming professionals in their field of choice. Some engineers, some businessmen, some teachers, some doctors, even some who tra began to travel all across the world to spread the word of God. And unsurprisingly, some who just got married and already have kids, they all have such cute babies. We just talked all night long remembering and recalling how we've come a long way. It is a pleasant sight, and I felt so refreshed when I woke up. And even before that, I had another dream. The year was 2025. It was the same batch of people, and I'm hearing all these wonderful stories. People who just graduated from difficult universities with their new diploma, people who began their professional careers early and are enjoying their new workplace, I heard some who had just set up their new business and began filling in the legal paperwork. And I heard some who just finished their seminary classes and are planning to join a team. Everyone was excited. Everyone was hyped. And the smiles were such a pleasant sight. And again, I felt so refreshed when I woke up. Now, I bring you back together to reality today. Today is not a dream anymore. The day is June 5, 2020, and we were supposed to be sitting in front of our computers, in front of our screens, in front of our smartphones, staying at home, having online graduation. Now look at us here. We're sitting two meters apart from each other without the presence of the alumni, the underclassmen, anyone else. Man, aren't we such a great batch? A very lucky batch indeed. We have the easiest numbers to remember. The class of 2020, the class with perfect vision, the class who stopped going to school for the last four months, the class who won't get to see the 2020 Tokyo Olympics this fall, the class who weren't able to go to Thailand. We are different. I would think that the events that occurred to us in the last four years makes our batch the most memorable. We've received our set of mixed emotions. I'm happy to see so many changes amongst us in many different ways. I'm also sad that some of our dear friends won't be joining us for this gorgeous day, but I'm pretty sure they're doing just fine. We are one class who went through a lot of changes. We started off early in our freshman and sophomore years where the school made a big transition. We wanted the MacBooks, Apple MacBooks, like the upperclassmen, but ended up with what? Chromebooks. In the last four years, we went through three different high school principals. Back in our junior year, the school for the first time implemented the block scheduling change from tight seven period to a loose four block with clubs. Thrift shop became a part of history as it had stopped becoming a tradition. For seniors, we had our difficulties in trying to get our senior privileges about what we have and what we didn't have. There was a lot of miscommunication and because of the coronavirus. The coronavirus, so many things happened. We weren't able to enjoy our last four months of high school sitting around in that senior lounge. We missed out on our time to be face to face. 
for our musical friends, we weren't able to have our KPASSP concerts on our choir, on our band, on our orchestra, choral festival, our final concert, parade of bands. None of that. We had none of our final performances. We didn't get our final spring athletic season. No soccer, no track. We had to transition to distance learning and involve ourselves with a completely new style of education. And don't forget, our AP College Board experience this year was interesting. Testing at 1, 3, 5 o'clock in the morning. And we missed out completely on our Thailand trip. You know, I look forward to that ever since I've heard of it from my sister back in middle school. What we expected didn't happen. We struggled. And we struggled a lot. We got angry. We got trouble. We, got, we complained so much why, about why. Why didn't it happen? Why can't we have this? Why can't we have our senior year? But is any of this a bad thing? No. Not a bad thing. Not at all. Not at all. We're just different. Even with all these challenges, we lived our daily student lives. We moved forward one step at a time by the day and by the week. We faced those challenges together. And look, we have created so many beautiful things. Our senior talent show, the rehearsals were interesting. We all knew that everything needed improvements by Wednesday night. We worked so hard having two rehearsals, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, and look at the end result. A full house of smiles and laughter. I know for sure all the parents and students enjoyed it. Athletics, we've made a lot of efforts to achieve great outcomes in all seasons of sports. Senior ladies led varsity volleyball to finish strong in the Far East tournament. Senior men and women gave a bold effort in challenging that throne for the league championship of basketball. The the wrestling team made a valiant effort at the Tournament of the Beast. The cross-country team made a strong finishing stride at the end of the race. And don't forget, the field hockey team brought in an undefeated league season through thriller matches in the finals. University, we've got many classmates who are able to attend their dream colleges. All of the years of studying hard paid off because we were able to go. And on all of that, look at us. We're sitting in the gymnasium. We're in the gymnasium ready to deliver. Excuse me. We're in the gymnasium ready to receive our diplomas. Even with these four months of distance learning, we're still getting our diplomas. And I can say, yes! We're finally graduating, y'all! We're finally graduating! So, looking back to all those years behind us now, I hope that the time will come that we, the class of 2020, the batch of 2020, will be able to see our past student life here, happy for the most part of it. And those that we categorize as better forgotten memories, we can also see that as something that we learn from and no longer regret. So on behalf of our class, I'd like to give thanks. Thank you, God, who allowed us to be together as one class. Thank you, parents and family. Thank you for always supporting us, rain or shine, 24-7, all days of the week, from when we are born to today. Thank you, teachers and school folks, for all the knowledge and guidance you have provided. Thank you, friends and schoolmates who are involved indirectly or directly with our lives. And now, I head back to the dream. Dear batchmates, we are like any other batch. With talent in athletics, in academics, in music, etc. But we have the difference. This difference is our label. My dream for us, and I hope that all of us share it, is that we will keep the difference in a positive way. Wherever we go, in a different school or different country, in our future working environment, we will find a way to be different. Yes, we will work hard to pick a life of our choosing, a pathway to reach our own desires and explore the many ideas out there in that whole wide world. But keep to the difference because that's what makes us unique in our own special way. That is our pride. The different batch, 
the batch of 2020, the batch that will always make a small difference five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years, 20, 25, and beyond. That will be our pleasant dream, and we will fulfill it. We will fulfill it together. Will I meet you once again? I don't know. I hope so. That's for life to decide. And I part with this, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for being my classmates. Thank you for the love and joy you have shared with me. Thank you for the memories you have created with me. I will hold dearly and true to these treasures. I wish you the best of luck from here on. Whether we cross ways or not, may you always be guided in your future endeavors. That's it. outbreak in China. Stopping the spread of the coronavirus. What are some memorable moments you have with the class? A good memory I have in elementary school is every day, the moment recess started, we would all um, run and compete to get the ball so that we could play soccer. We played a lot of competitive games within the girls, but we also had uh, a lot of games of girls versus guys, which was also really fun. What was most memorable about high school? I'd say a lot of things were memorable. And I think it's senior talent show because, believe it or not, it was our last event as a class. Performances, like senior talent shows last year, the last senior talent show, and 
yeah, just doing performances and watching performances. Also, the senior talent show was one of my highlights of my senior year. I had a lot of fun practicing the acts with my friends. I would consider it the most memorable because I thought it wouldn't work out in the beginning. Initially, I was a little worried. I haven't seen anyone practice for their acts on an actual talent show day. Like, people pulled it off nicely and the performance itself was awesome. And in the end, it all worked out and it turned out to be a really fun show. School events, like sports matches, because those are really, some of them are really intense and really fun to watch. But also like the little activities and funny conversations in class, because that's the time you like interact with your classmates the most. Those times were the most fun, you know. What do you think people will look about in our class? Class of 2020 is very practical, has a very realistic perception of life. We have a strong work ethic. We understand that you need to put the work in in order to be successful. People think we're not gifted in academics. Apparently our class is seen as like troublemakers. Especially teachers think of our class as the, you know, class of 2020 troublemakers, five expulsions, whatever. I think people think that we are sort of the troublemakers. Um, I think that's somewhat true, but people forget to recognize that our class is full of intelligent and funny people. Like the reality is where, yes, we act up a little bit in class, but Underneath all that, we're really just hardworking ants. We're really just these nerds. They are hardworking individuals and they're so passionate about the things they do. Class of 2020 keeps each other accountable. I really wish that people would see the class in a way that I see my class. That's how our class is. We love to have fun. How do you think our class has grown? This class has changed in so many ways. See the obvious growth in like so many, I think in every single way you can think of. Like our class was known to be like the troublemakers. A lot of people think our class didn't grow that much <laughs> because we had this reputation that our class was really bad since the very start. But I think we were able to turn that reputation around. We're a little bit more mature, um, adult-like. We are way more mature. I think in these past few years, we're able to make better decisions for ourselves, and now we're more responsible for ourselves. Are you glad you were in this class? Yes. Definitely, of course. <laughs> yes, I am glad that I am in the class of 2020. Yes. Yes. Only somebody would have told me, babe. Today's scripture reading is from the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was, in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Mr. Vincent Howard is an inspirational teacher. He inspires students to want to learn more about literature and scripture. He inspires students to seek God's truth in everything. He inspires students to be the best version of themselves. Any teacher that has had the privilege of being Mr. Howard's colleague would also agree that his inspiration is not limited to his students. He inspires teachers to develop their craft and be the best educators they can be. Among many other things, 
His command of the English language is his most powerful pedagogical weapon. Drawing on an arsenal of influences from the likes of rap master MF Doom to lyrical giants such as Bob Dylan, he makes everyone laugh, see things from different perspectives, and reflect on the beauty of life. It is with great honor and privilege that I introduce him to you today, my good friend, Mr. Vincent Howard. Seniors, I'm honored to stand here before you today. First off, there's something I need to get out of the way. That's the irony of me, the senior, voted most unlikely to succeed, standing here giving you an address about success. Seriously, I was far from blessed, too many arrests. I was nearly expelled. High school for me was hell, even though in that inferno, I found heaven. On April 2nd, 1997, I took a knee. Finally, I was free, but staying free was not so easy. High school, I barely graduated. SAT, I never made it. College, I mostly procrastinated. My GPA was on the down low. The top university said no. My life almost ended in a car crash, but Christ stuck with me to the last. Seniors, I have just one thing to say. The only reason I can stand here today is because Christ had his way. So here we are. We made it. And what a year. Easy to hate it. The year of rumor after rumor, the year of, okay, boomer, the year of living alone on the far side of the phone, some for better, some for worse, COVID fever, cabin fever, curse after curse, the pandemic pulled us apart, though some turned being alone at home into an art, the year of losses and storms that tossed us, the year of too much reality, the year of looking into screens till we couldn't see, class of 2020, is your vision still 2020? Seniors, this year your world got flipped. Pick up the pen, rewrite your scripts. The world exploded, our lives imploded. Use your 2020 vision, reverse the vision, undo divisions. 2020 vision, 2020 vision. <laughs> Class of 2020. This year, you've seen reality in ways that many classes haven't had to. You've been given a vision of how life is fleeting. Much of what we hope for never really happens. Life is loss. I wrote a rhyme for you today, but before I get back to it, I want to take a minute and talk with you about what we lost this year. Let's talk about your loss, my loss, and the loss that defies all answers. First, your loss. Let's start with something obvious. You lost much of your senior year. Maybe you got an acceptance letter, but your friends weren't there to celebrate with you. Maybe you put thought into planning an end of year celebration that, like most things this year, got canceled. Some of you may be thinking, I didn't lose anything big this year. Yet I know that some of your losses as a class and as individuals are big and they go back farther than the pandemic. You've had injuries, you've had suspensions, you've had expulsions. You and those around you have made choices that have cost you. And I know there's much more that I don't know about. What good could come out of our losses? This year, we've heard politicians and pundits, writers and teachers trying to answer that question. But the bigger our losses, the less those answers help. At least that's what I've learned this year. I didn't lose my senior year to a pandemic, but I want you to know that this year was one of the hardest years of my life. In order for you to understand why, I need to tell you about my loss. Just before the beginning of this school year, a time when teachers' minds are filled with hope, I received some news that shattered one of my deepest hopes. I learned that my brother had died. I went back to America, where Vernon and I grew up, hoping to somehow find him there, but he was gone. Vernon and I were only a year apart. 
Growing up, he was my best friend. He would do anything to make me laugh, even though he usually took his jokes too far. He had my back in any fight, even though he could be a bully himself. Vernon was always there for me, and that's what mattered most, because my parents rarely were. But in my college years, the years that you are entering now, my relationship with Vernon got complicated. See, God began to pull me out of a life of addiction and foolish living. My brother was stuck in that life too. And I had hoped with all of my heart that somehow God would just grab Vernon and pull him out of that life, just as he had done with me. But my brother stayed stuck. And as the years went by, he sank deeper and faster. And I saw that if I didn't walk away, I would sink with him. Still, I never stopped praying that one day I would get my brother back. I never gave up hope, not until this year. Seniors, you lost your senior year to the COVID pandemic. I lost my brother to the opioid epidemic. I believe that this year you and I are being forced to ask the same question. What good could come out of our losses? All I can say is that when it comes to big losses, I don't have an answer. I can only tell you about one more loss, a loss that defies all answers. Seniors, as you know, we teachers are often pushing you to ask questions and to search for answers. Isn't that what school is all about? I want you to keep asking questions, keep using your 2020 vision in the next chapter of your lives. But what I've discovered this year through my loss is that answers can't give me comfort. Sometimes answers can't take away my regrets. Sometimes answers can't help me recover from rejection. Answers can't give me back the brother I lost. I received some good theological answers this year, answers that explained what might happen to those we love who die apart from Jesus Christ, like Vernon. None of these answers took away that empty feeling inside me. Only one thing did. Seeing that when God looked at our world, a world full of people sick with sin, the real global crisis, the real pandemic, he didn't give us an answer, an argument, or an equation. God gave us a person. See, at times this year, my mind was just too messed up to read. That video lag that we've all gotten used to this year, that was my mind after my brother died. So I put in my old school earbuds and listened to my audio Bible. I'd hear all these promises of God about how good he is and how much he loves me, but these words just sounded hollow. See, I had to go back in my mind to when I was in high school, to the night when I wanted to give up on my life, the night when I felt Jesus Christ in the room with me, a person as alive as you are now. I had to ask myself, is this person still real to me? Can I still trust him? Do I still believe that he is good? Seniors, when you lose something big, where do you turn for comfort? If a university rejects you, where do you go with that rejection? If a boyfriend or a girlfriend dumps you, do you get out your phone and search up how you should respond? I doubt it. Most likely, you go to a person that you trust, a person who knows you and who still loves you, even though they know the worst about you. This year, I saw all over again that Jesus wants to be that person in my life, and I believe he wants to be that person in your life too. I believe that Jesus Christ is real in the same way that I believe my wife is real. I believe that he loves me in the same way that I believe my wife loves me. That's all I've got, but that's all I need. When my wife is in the room with me, I know it. When Jesus Christ is in the room with me, I know it. I don't know how else to explain it. And this person 
unlike my wife, is the creator of the universe. He's God. He lost everything for me and for you. What he lost defies all answers. It's hard to even find words to express what he lost. Class of 2020, this is the vision I want to leave with you as you leave this place. A vision of this person who walked with me through one of the hardest years of my life. Even if you don't think you need this vision right now, my hope is that you'll carry it with you. 2020 isn't over, and there may be harder years yet to come. Seniors, this year, your world got flipped. Pick up your pens, rewrite the scripts. The world exploded, our lives imploded. Use your 2020 vision, reverse the fission, undo divisions. 2020 vision, 2020 vision. Seniors, your world got flipped. All our, hand, all our plans through our hands, they slipped. Your time to shine, but life turned out the light. AP tests in the middle of the night. Sometimes I just want to score a five. Sometimes I'm just trying to stay alive. Those final weeks together are supposed to be golden, but, but that precious time was stolen. Instead of rolling with your team, you were separated by screens. Prisoners in our own homes, far from free. Meanwhile, the senior lounge sits empty. Seniors, your world got flipped. Flips. Pick up your pens, rewrite the scripts. The world exploded, our lives imploded. Use your 2020 vision, rewrite the vision. Undo divisions, 2020 vision, 2020 vision. Seniors, we're here to mourn what we lost. Who can tell us what it cost? Your senior trip to Thailand washed away like sand. Senior comps didn't go like it was planned. You lost your senior year to the pandemic. I lost my brother to the opioid epidemic. This year felt like a bad dream and we just wanted to wake up. My brother put a needle to his vein and he never woke up. How could any good come out of this? Easy answers can't satisfy us. We don't need someone telling us how to handle our losses. We need someone standing with us when the storm tosses. Seniors, this year your world got flipped. Pick up your pens, rewrite the scripts. The world exploded, our lives imploded. Use your 2020 vision, reverse the fission, undo divisions. 2020 vision, 2020 vision. Seniors, this year the, war, the storm rolled in. This year, our patience wore thin. This year, our world got flipped. Use that 2020 vision and steer your ship. When the waves climb high, we got a choice. We can go our own way or obey his voice. In the coldest wind, he can keep you warm. He can raise his arms and calm the storm we try to walk on water but we sink in life seas we don't see everything that he sees our vision is blurry but christ's vision is 2020 on the cross he hung alone the crowd shouted insults loud as megaphones our sin is the real pandemic rich poor young old everyone is sick on the cross christ took the worst he took our place and reversed the curse to bring us together he was pulled apart now we can look at him and say how great thou art when we struggle to see when we struggle to breathe when the blood is flowing when the infection is growing we can hold to him he knows where he is going he reads every scene with precision he alone has 2020 vision seniors your world got flipped pick up your pens rewrite the scripts the world exploded our lives imploded use christ 2020 vision reverse the fission undo divisions 2020 vision 2020 vision Our purpose in gathering here tonight is to witness the presentation of diplomas and Bibles to the class of 2020. Members of the class have met the requirements for graduation and will receive a diploma and Bible at this time. Mrs. Hall, the high school principal, will present the diplomas and Bibles. Harry Taihyuk An.
Miyuki Yamakawa Basu. Matthew Buss. <laughs> Dominic Lazaro Climacosa. June Collier. <laughs> Joseph Frazier. Iwa Hall. Masaki Honda. Mitsuki Hishinuma. Grace Emiko Ijima. Yuka Iwata. <laughs> Nana Kano. Yuki Kano. <laughs> Unmin Kim. Sungwan Kim. <laughs> Wan Jun Kim. Yonju Kim.
Erin May Kindervater. Hyun So Kwan. Ha Jin Lee. Jean Wu Lee. <laughs> Yui Matsumaru. Susanna Mendoza. <laughs> Emmy Miyazaki. June Nelson. <laughs> Rachel Nelson. Asuma Nishizaki. Riko Ohashi. Rika Ohira. <laughs> Mayumi Okuda. Sung June Park. <laughs> Kyle Filson. Eugene Reedy. <laughs> Rena Semenoff.
Timothy Sexton. Kyung Jun Son. Shion Suzuki. Hayato Taguchi. Alice Takeyama. <laughs> David Augustus Thixton. Hi, Van Dam. <laughs> Don't put that mask back on. <laughs> Graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to present to you the CHA class of 2020. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left at this point and cheer wildly. You may be seated. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Minsuki Rokusho, 24 sets から 26 sets. Shuga anata o shukusuku shi, anata o mamorare masu yoni. シガミカオをあなたに照らし、あなたを恵まれますように。シガミカオをあなたに向け、あなたに平安を与えられますように。ヨハネ 6-26. Pagpalain ka nawa ng Panginoon at ingatan ka. Paliwanagin nawa ng Panginoon ang kanyang muka sa'yo at mahabag sa'yo. Ilingap nawa ng Panginoon ang kanyang muka sa'yo at bigyan ka ng kapayapaan. Да презрит на тебя Господь светлым лицам своим и помилует тебя. Да обратит Господь лица свое на тебя и даст тебе мир. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. El Señor te mire con agrado y te extienda su amor. El Señor te muestre su favor y te conceda la paz. 
Thank you all for joining us this evening. For those of you watching online, good night and God bless you.